this is Robin. Welcome to my channel, MyPinkStamper.com. I hope your day is wonderful. I thought I'd do a little bit, something a little bit different today on my tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you how to make a card from beginning to end, even cutting the paper. So let's just imagine that you're starting with eight and a half by 11 full sheets of paper. I thought I'd just cut it down for you, kind of show you my steps. Normally I do have scrap pieces for the little, um, die cuts or you know scraps that I'm using, but I'm gonna show you how you can use your full cardstock to the best. Um, that probably didn't make any sense, but it did to me in my head, uh, without wasting a lot of paper and then starting your own scrap collection and how I coordinate and organize mine. Okay, that was a big, that was a mouthful. I'm going to be utilizing and using, <laughs> You're the first person I've talked to all day. Is that crazy? I'm using our new Stampin' Up! trimmer. And I thought I'd show you how to do it if you're on the fence about purchasing this. It's $25 of money well spent. I use it every day. Now when I'm making my uh, classes and things like that, I do have a more professional machine, but my everyday paper crafting, thank you cards, everything else that I'm using uh, in my craft room, I use this. Okay, so. I'm really wordy today, I apologize. And uh, I think I already said I'm Robin, but nice to meet you if you're new to my channel. I hope you have fun here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I have a lot of video tutorials on here that are free for you to help you with your creativity. So if you wanna subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to click the little notification bell. That way you're notified when I have a new video, which is typically two to three times every single week. Can you believe that? That's a lot. But that's what my goal is in 2020, is to do at least three videos for you a week. And I've been doing pretty good at that lately. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me see, what's the very first thing I'm going to do? I think we will start with the die cutting. So I have full sheets of every paper, imagine, every cardstock that I'm using. All of these can be ordered in color families, um, in eight and a half by 11, in the color families you get two or three sheets of each. I don't have them right in front of me. Or you can get the full pack. If you're like me, I like to stock up and have full packs of every single one. And you get 24 sheets of each if you want to start collecting the full packs. I do recommend getting one pack of our Whisper White cardstock. This comes with 40 sheets. I use white in almost every project that I make. All right. So I'm not using white right here. I'm going to be using five different colors for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by, let's go ahead and cut this down. I first like to cut it into a eight and a half by, or five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to do that with two at a time. Now I believe I can do up to four sheets, three or four sheets of cardstock, maybe just three with my new paper trimmer. I'm going to do this at five and a half inches. And that way now I have two card bases ready to go in my collection and I don't have weird cuts. So that's gonna just go on the side. And I'm going to also cut this down to four and a quarter. And now I have a quarter sheet that I can use for different parts of card making, scrapbooking, whatever. And then these last pieces, I'm going to just leave them in quarter sheets and that's what I'm going to use to cut. Now we'll also be cutting up. I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. So I have I didn't even tell you the colors. I will tell you the colors and I'll have the item codes. Oh, I hope that's my mailman. I did a pickup yesterday and they forgot to pick up my packages. So, And my niece works at the post office. So she was going in this morning and she was gonna, you know, give them a piece of my mind. <laughs> okay, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Funny story, it was my niece. My niece delivered, She's a, she just fills in where they need her to, and she was actually the one who did our paper, our, my, my delivery today, isn't that fun? Okay, I'm gonna be really quick because I don't wanna take forever. I'm just cutting paper. I'm doing the same things, but I kinda want you to know my thought process. Now this one, I only really need a small piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of these down to two and three quarters, so it's two and three quarters by four, and then I kind of have just a symmetrical, that's how I keep my nice scraps, they're all in, in appropriate sizes. I'm a little particular about my paper, but everything else is good. Okay, and we are going to be using that half sheet of the, one of the colors for the card base, which is perfect. I already have it ready to go. All right, 
So now I'm using, I don't think I've said anything I'm using. I'm using the Peaceful Moments Bundle. This is a stamp set that is just sentiments. And then it's a coordinating die set. And you can make these beautiful flowers with. And so let me grab everything that we need for the flowers. So we only have one thing we're stamping today. Everything else is die cuts. We're using the flower. We're using the outline or the solid flower. We're using this centerpiece here. And then we're using these two for the leaves. Try not to poke my finger here. Okay, and I can set that aside. And I am going to put on here, this is petal pink. And I'm going to put this up here. And I have the solid flower. Now to utilize my paper, I'll put this right in the corner. So I can make sure I'm not wasting any paper. And then I'm using here, this is lovely lipstick. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this one right here. And then I will just run these through. Okay, now I can take those off. My solid image, set that aside. And I can put this to cut the rest off for my scraps. And I can do the same thing with this. This really helps me to keep my scraps in order. You gotta keep your scrap in order, right? Har har. Okay, I'm just gonna punch those out. Kind of have everything ready. And then I just use either our take your pick tool or just our old paper piercer and run that through. Now I've got this, isn't this beautiful? So once this card comes together, it's actually fairly quick. This is the longest that anything will take. I have old olive cardstock here and I'm using the, the bigger leaf. And I will make sure that I utilize that paper. And then I'm using Granny Apple Green. It actually coordinates with the paper that I'm using on here as well. Okay, put that right there. Run these through. I think I'm gonna do forward and back for both of these because they're a little bit more intricate. And now I can just cut around here and I have that scrap. So I just really kind of wanted to show you how I, I know I get a lot of questions. Do you guys want to, you know, hear how I do my personal paper crafting and how I organize and how I cut it all out so I don't waste. And this is exactly what I do. I'm going to grab my paper piercer one more time. And these have little holes you can carefully poke through. I made a bunch of these cards last night because some of you, some of my customers, I'm catching up from December still. Well, we're still in December when I'm filming this video, so I'm not too far behind. I think I'm about a couple weeks. You know, the holidays, holidays kind of threw me off. This is Daffodil Delight cardstock. And so I believe today these are going to some of my December 11th free shipping. Yes, that is how a little bit behind I am. I'm getting all caught up. I'll be all caught up by tomorrow. We're not really doing much today for the boys are have their own plans and our family made their own plans this year without us. They're all doing other fun things. So Brian and I are just going to be hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna poke this out here. I'm having some tripod issues, of course, with my tripod today. Hopefully you couldn't see that it was moving and slipping, but you might have, you might have a really good laugh. Okay, so we're gonna put this together. I'm going to use our snail adhesive and I'm going to put a little there and then I'm using our multi-purpose glue and I'm just going to squeeze it on the edges a little bit. Do you guys have a good break? Do you have kids at home? Maybe you worked the whole time. What did you guys do? Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and hear what, what you guys have going on. It's kind of been quiet for us this year, which I like. I like it when it's busy. I mean, we have had some things, but last year my daughter got married this week, this week last year. So <laughs> this year is much more calm than it was last year. All right, so I have that. And now I'm gonna take my leaves. Okay, we're just going to squeeze this glue just because it's a smaller, I really like this multi-purpose glue. I just, we've had it ever since I've been a demonstrator 
And I honestly have just started using this in the past few months maybe, and I love it. It's really nice to use for small pieces. Okay, I'm just going to hold this on here. Just have to hold it for a second. I can move this around. Okay, so I have my leaf, it's ready to go. And I am going to take one of our mini dimensionals or you can take a full dimensional and cut it in half, but the minis fit perfect right there. And I will add this onto my card right here. And now I'm going to take, ooh, that's fun. I'm going to take some adhesive. Let me see where, where I want the top, the top. Okay, I'm just gonna add the leaf, just a little bit hanging out right there. Perfect, now I can finish up this card. I'm going to grab the half sheet of the lovely lipstick. So this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. This will be my card base. So I can go ahead and fold this in half. And then I'm gonna pull out my paper trimmer again for the rest of the layers. I'm gonna pull out the trimmer and we're going to be cutting a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I do like to cut it in half first. So I'm cutting it five and a half. So I always have a half sheet left over of my scraps and I don't have any weird sizes. Now this, and then I'm gonna cut it four and, at a four and a quarter. Again, that's so I have just the quarter sheet. And now this one I'm going to cut down to five and a quarter. And this is gonna be five and a quarter by four. Just like that. And now the only waste I have are these two little pieces right here. So it's really nice. And I will set this over here. And now I'm taking some of our beautiful paper. Now this is not the paper that coordinates with this suite. We do have paper that coordinates with the Peaceful Poppies suite. This is not that. This coordinates with our Dress to Impress, our Impressed to, Dress to Impress, All Dressed Up suite. So this is two-sided. It's beautiful, but I wanted to really use these flowers right here, and I'm using this striped paper. This comes in a six by six stack. You get four of each, and they're all two-sided. So they're fun. This coordinates with the perfume and the shoes stamp set. So this piece here, I'm gonna cut this at one and a half inches and save this with my paper, and it's going to be five and a quarter. So five and a quarter up here. And then this piece here, to get the best out of it, I'm gonna turn it this way, and I'm going to cut it at half of an inch and save that. And then this is also going to be cut at five and a quarter. So it'll be half inch by five and a quarter. Okay, that's all the cutting. So that'll be most of the time that was spent on the card. Now I'm gonna start layering these all up. I'm gonna go ahead and this was four by five and a quarter, just to remind you. Okay, so remember this piece was one and a half by five inches. Putting my snail adhesive on there, I'm going to have this go all the way over to the left. And now I'm going to stamp, and the stamp's just gonna say thank you because I'm using the thank you from it to make thank you cards for my customers. I'm using the lovely lipstick ink pad. I'm just going to stamp that right here. Super easy, that's the only stamping for this beautiful card. And now I'm going to take this other strip and I am going to add this right here so it is even. And I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to add this on here. Look at how pretty this is. And then now we are just going to take the flower and I'm going to grab some dimensionals and some mini dimensionals and I will add, I'm gonna add four because it's a bigger piece. And then I'm going to add one of the mini dimensionals just on this leaf right here. So this makes it a little bit more sturdy and solid. Okay. And everything you see in today's video can be ordered directly from my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. If you'd like to receive a 20% discount on all your orders for the next three months, you can join my team for $99, and that is joinmypinkstamper.com. 
Okay, there is your card for today's video tutorial. Here's another idea where I used two instead of just the one. So there's lots of cards here. I'll pull out some of them. It's fun to make a lot of cards. I love making cards for my customers and for my family and friends. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You can find me and more of my video tutorials along with my weekly videos or weekly giveaways on my blog, mypinkstamper.com. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.